In this lecture, we will find out the stress in a plate with hole. One end of this plate is fixed and on the other end, 10 kN load is acting. The dimensions of this plate are given as 40 mm and 60 mm. The stress is concentrated due to this hole. Any discontinuity in the geometry causes stress concentration. Stress concentration means the value of stress is concentrated around this whole region. Any discontinuity in a machine part causes stress concentration. The discontinuities in the machine parts may be due to the holes or grooves and notches. So we can say that the stress concentration factor depends only on the geometry of the part. Now we will create the geometry according to the dimensions given in this figure. Open ANSYS workbench, double click on static structural. We have three options to create the geometry. We can create the geometry in space claim, design modeler and ANSYS discovery. ANSYS discovery is the latest and easy to use CAD modeler. So we will use ANSYS discovery in this tutorial. It is very similar to the space claim. Open ANSYS discovery. This is ANSYS discovery user interface. By default, XY plane has been selected. We can change the plane by using this button new plane. We can select any plane. So if we want to draw on XY plane, we will select it and then look at the plane by clicking this button. Now draw a rectangle. Starting from origin, the units are given in inches. We can change the units. Go to file menu, settings. Click on units and change the units from imperial to metric. The length of the plate was 60 mm. Press tab button and then enter 40 mm which is the width of the plate. Press Z button to zoom to fit. Now we want to draw the circle of 8 mm in the center of this rectangle. Select the circle. Now take the cursor to the origin and press the shift button. Enter an x value of 30, press tab button and enter a value of 20. It will locate a point which is the center point of this rectangle and we will draw a circle of 8 mm here. So just click on this pull button and we will then press H button for home view then click this surface and press the space button we want to pull this sketch up to 2 mm, so enter a value of 2 and press enter. Our geometry is now complete. In the next step, we will create the mesh. Double click on this model button. The next step is to mesh the model by clicking on the mesh button. We can define the element size by entering a suitable value in this box. Let's say we enter a value of 1 mm. Right click on the mesh button to generate the mesh. A smooth mesh has been generated but we need refined mesh around this circle. To refine the mesh around this circle, first select these two edges. Select this edge, hold the control key and select the other edge. Then right click and create coordinate system. Check the coordinates of this coordinate system which are x is equal to 30 mm, y is 30, 20 mm which means this coordinate system is lying right in the middle of this circle. Now click on the mesh button and go to this mesh tab and click on sizing. Select these two edges and on the geometry tab click apply. We can define the element size by three met methods by a number of divisions, element size and sphere of influence. Let's select the sphere of influence in the sphere center tab we will select the coordinate system that we have created. In the sphere radius, we will enter a value of 10 mm because our circle was of 8 mm. So we will enter a value greater than 8 mm. So we are telling the ANSYS to, uh, to refine the mesh in this area of influence. So we can define the element size in this circle of influence. Let's enter a value of element size equal to 0.2 mm then right click on this mesh button and generate mesh we can see now the mesh around this hole has been refined the next step 
is to apply the boundary conditions. Click on this static structure button, right click and insert a force. Select this face, go to the face selection button and now select this face and then click on apply. We will define this force by components. So in the define by tab, select components. The direction of force is in the x direction in this x direction so we will enter a value of 10,000 Newton the other end of this plate was fixed so rotate the model by the middle mouse button and select the other side of the face now right click on the static structure and insert a fixed support it will it will apply the fixed support to this face automatically now click on the solution tab, right click and insert stress equivalent one mysis stress and then click on the solve button. After the solution is complete, now we can analyze our results. Now we can easily see the equivalent one mysis stress. As it was expected, the stress is concentrated at these two positions and the maximum value of stress is 403 megapascal. We can drop this value by pressing this maximum button. We can view the undeformed shape of this plate by clicking on this edges button and then show undeformed wireframe. Now we will calculate the normal stress by right clicking on the solution tab and insert stress and normal stress. So we will have to tell and says in which direction we want to calculate the normal stress. We want to calculate the normal stress in x-axis. So let's calculate it along the x-axis. Right click on this normal stress and click evaluate this result. So if you see at the norm, maximum normal stress, it, it is the same value or almost the same value that we have got by equivalent stress. Now we will compare this ANSYS value of stress with some hand calculations to validate our model. The normal stress can be found by force divided by the normal area. The minimum area is at the hole and width at the hole is equal to W minus D which is the diameter of this hole. This is the minimum width of this plate and T is the thickness. As given in the problem statement, the width of the plate was 40 mm and the diameter of the hole was 8 mm and thickness of the plate was 2 mm. So the normal stress is equal to 156. But due to the effect of stress concentration, the value of stress around the hole will be much more than this value. To calculate the effect of stress concentration, we, we will use this graph and according to the given problem this ratio is equal to 0.2 so at point 2 the stress concentration factor which is denoted by kt is equal to 2.5 we will use this value of stress concentration to find the, to find the maximum value of stress which is equal to 390 megapascal so our hand calculations for the maximum stress are matched with the calculated by ANSYS. We can probe the stress at other areas of this plate by clicking on this probe button and if we move the cursor along this minimum area we can see that it is around 150 megapascal. So the value of nominal stress and the maximum stress have been compared with our hand calculation so our method has been validated.